Hey, what's going on guys? Rob from ClicksGeek, and in today's video I want to go through a example, an ad group example campaign, right? So how do I word that better? A campaign and how it's structured. <laughs> that makes more sense. So I'm going to walk you through the proper structure for a Google Ads campaign and how, how the ad group should be laid out inside of the campaign. So that will be today's video, probably a quick one, three or four minutes. Um, so just hang in there and I'll walk you through it so you can kind of mirror this on how you, when you're building your Google Ads campaigns, uh, how to correctly structure them. So before I get into that, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe, check out the links in the description below this video, lots of free training courses, application if you're a business owner and want us to run Google Ads for you, you can fill that out. And um, also head back to our channel, ClicksGeek, if you're, if you're really looking for A to Z, how to build these Google Ads campaigns, there's literally, I think, 1,200 videos on the channel, and it's all Google Ads and Google Ads sales stuff, so you guys can check that out. All right, so we're in our demo account. We're going to go into our carpet cleaning campaign. So we're going to go into our Google Ads campaign, and now we're looking at the campaign in the ad group level. Now you can see here we have our ad groups are designed by theme. So area rug cleaning service, carpet cleaning services, these are two separate ad groups. So we would not have area rug keywords inside any other ad group in here, okay? All area rug keywords go into the area rug cleaning service ad group. So that's how you have to structure your campaigns out is that everything has to be separated and nice and neatly done, right? So carpet cleaning services, I am not going to have the keyword keywords containing carpet cleaning services in any other ad group in this campaign, right? Carpet cleaning general is just a skag. That's a single keyword ad group. So that's just the word carpet cleaning, carpet cleaning company. Is going to be all carpet cleaning company companies keywords. Carpet cleaning near me is all going to be carpet cleaning near me, close to me, etc. Johnson County Carpet Cleaning is a geo ad group for one of the counties that the client is targeting. So we're going to be um, only having Johnson County Carpet Cleaning type keywords in here. Steam Carpet Cleaning is all steam carpet cleaning stuff. We will never have anything that is not steam related in this ad group carpet cleaning prices and on and on oriental rug obviously every keyword in here is oriental rug and there will be the word oriental rug will be nowhere else in any other ad group under any keyword right so that's how you structure your ad groups everything's nice and neatly separated that's how you have to structure these that's how you'll get the better quality scores and you'll be able to directly talk in the ads, in each of your ads for, for your ad group, you'll be able to directly talk to area rug in the ads. In carpet cleaning services, we'll talk about carpet cleaning services and what they have. Carpet cleaning company, we'll talk about the company. All right, so everything's nice and neatly separated. That's how you have to structure your Google Ads campaign. Now, if we go into one of the ad groups, you'll see the keywords. So the keywords have to be all in sync with the ad group theme. So our ad group theme is area rug cleaning service. All of our keywords are going to be about area rug cleaning, service, company, services, prices, cost, all that kind of stuff, right? It's all area rug related. Now you can even go more granular if you want and you could separate, I mean, you know, it depends how much you want to dig, but you can, you can bust this off into more ad groups. You could make this one called area rug cleaning service and only have the service keywords in here create another ad group called area rug cleaning company and have only the company keywords in there. It really depends how granular you want to get. I personally think that's overkill, but this is fine the way this is set up. So this is how you want to have your, your ads, I'm sorry, your keywords structured out. And then in the ads, we'll have responsive search ads, two for each. <clears throat> and again, this is all demo info, but You'll have all of your ad copy talking about area rugs, cleaning, requests and estimates, same day services, and you want to make sure book an appointment. It's all about area rugs, right? And then on with the next ad group, which are we're going to dump this because it's a little different. Oriental rug cleaning is the same drill. It's all about Oriental rug cleaning service, Oriental rug cleaning company. It's all working these keywords in throughout the responsive search ads while balancing that with heavy calls to action, dry one hour carpet cleaning, five star ratings, book your appointment today, request a free estimate, same day services, all that kind of stuff. So that's just a high level how you want to structure 
all of your all of your um, campaigns, right? You want to get as granular as possible and separate everything as much as possible, and that's how you're going to get the higher quality scores, the lower cost per clicks, and, and eventually the better results. All right, guys. So that's uh, that's all I got for you. Sorry, I went a little over the four minute mark, um, but I wanted to kind of just really dig this in for you so you can understand it a little more. If you have any questions about how to structure these Google Ads campaigns, just drop them in the comment section below this video. All right, guys. I'll catch you later.